The Soviet Union was a country that existed from 1922 to 1991. This is not a long time, but they managed to develop many interesting, strong and protective dog breeds. It's because the Soviet government focused on developing the best working police, military and guard dogs for the Red Army and Soviet police. In this video, I will show you the best dogs developed in the Soviet Union. Number 5. East European Shepherd The East European Shepherd is a dog breed developed in the 1940s and 1950s as a police and army dog. The only dog used in the breeding process was the German Shepherd. One of the main reasons of developing the East European Shepherd was to get rid of the hip and elbow dysplasia, health issues which are very common in the German Shepherd. The East European Shepherd is also stronger and larger than the original German Shepherd. According to the breed standard, their height can be up to 30 inches, which is 76 cm and weight up to 130 pounds, which is 60 kilograms. Number 4. Black Russian Terrier The Black Russian Terrier was developed in a secret location in Moscow by Red Star Kennel. The goal was to create a perfect working dog and the breeds included in the breeding process were Giant Schnauzers, Rottweilers, Airedale Terriers, Newfoundlands, Caucasian Shepherds and others. The goal of creating perfect working dog was successful because Black Russian Terrier is a tireless, swift and powerful dog with amazing drive. Number 3. Sulimov Dog Sulimov dog is also known as Shalaika and it's not a pure dog. It's a dog Jekyll hybrid and they were developed for airline security. They were mostly used as sniffer dogs at airports. They are actually great at sniffing bombs and illegal drugs. To improve the trainability of the breed, other breeds were included in the breeding process. For example, the Fox Terrier and different Spitzes. Number 2. Corello Finnish Laika Ok, this dog was not bred to be a protector or guard, but they are excellent hunting dogs from the Karelia region. In the 1930s in the Russia, there was a pure Spitz breed developed, but most of the dogs were lost in the Second World War. Scientists wanted to revive the breed, so they imported Finnish Spitzes and bred them with the last pure Spitzes they developed in the 1930s. These dogs became the Karelo Finnish Laika, a protective but affectionate family dog. Number 1. Moscow Watchdog the last dog on this list is the Moscow Watchdog, a perfect combination between the gentle Saint Bernard and alert and sharp Caucasian Shepherd. So if you are looking for a protective, large and strong dog that will be very affectionate and friendly towards his family, this might be your choice. The reason why this breed was necessary and why they were bred was the need of thousands of guard dogs in the Soviet Union after the Second World War to reduce the crime. The dog had to be okay with low Russian temperatures and they had to be very protective. They were used to guard almost anything, including the labor camps, railroads, borders and warehouses. Today they are fairly common in the Russia and other post-Soviet countries, but it can be hard to find them in other countries. So as you can see, all the dogs developed in the Soviet Union are strong and they have extraordinary work ethic. There was no space for family and lab dogs, all the dogs back then must have their purpose. And today, some of the breeds, especially the East European Shepherd and the Black Russian Terriers, are popular in the whole world. Tell me in comments which breed from this list is your favorite and if you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check out Instagram, Facebook, links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.